you guys said you wanted to see declutter videos and we're going to do that because I just have too much stuff. I pulled out one of these drawers, one of the drawers, and then the one right below it came right out. It spilled everywhere. Let me show you. You see? That wasn't supposed to happen, but that one wouldn't close either. I try to declutter at least every six months. I think it's been eight. I emptied out a lot of my product and because I get beauty boxes and PR from beauty brands, I end up getting a lot of like pile up of product. So I'm gonna go through all of these. I'm gonna see what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. <sighs> Thing is, it's gonna be hard because I love my makeup, but I need space. And I refuse to have a studio filled with makeup from beginning to end and letting things expire again because it used to happen a lot. I'm trying to avoid that. So help me out. This is a pixie pencil that I received very recently. I'm going to say like two weeks ago. It's in brown. It's a beautiful shade. I know it was two weeks ago because I unboxed it. I also got the black one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this with the black one. And I'm going to add it to the giveaway that I'm announcing um, this week. So stay tuned for that. The reason why I didn't open the other one is because I have one right here. Look how amazing this is. It's like a cop beautiful that's still good because it's only been like six months since i've had it i got this i don't remember i know i got it in a beauty box let's um swatch it oh supposed to be like a gray i don't remember if i loved it or i hated it it's been a long time i'm gonna get rid of her because i don't even remember like how long ago i got this this i got maybe a year ago yeah it's garbage it's trash it is by the brand uz it is their eye-opening liner. It was one of the first brands that released a, like a paint tip brush thing. This is oh, the milk one. You guys have tried the milk one, right? I got this one. Oh, oh, she's still creamy. Oh, do I get rid of her? I should. I know I've had her for over a year. She broke on me. Look, se rompió. She's broken. I think I'm going to get rid of her. I love her. She's still creamy. But like, I haven't used her. This one is by who? By Cleo. When did you arrive? Oh, no. That one's so dry. It broke on me. Ugh, I don't remember when I got this, guys. Cam woke up. She's in the room. That was fun. She freaked me out for a second there. I know. Keep enjoying your snacks. And in a mask eyeliner. You know, <gasps> I broke her. When the tips break like that and they've, they've been sitting for a while, that means that the formula's kind of drying out. So that's going to go bye-bye. I have this NARS eyeliner. I'm not going to lie to you. This, this liner has been here forever. Oh, she's still creamy. It's the nude shade. It's been here forever. I'm going to get rid of her. I think I've had her like three years and I've wanted to get rid of her, but I also haven't wanted to get rid of her. So we're going to get rid of her today. I have the Marc Jacobs in like a bronzy shade. Nothing is happening. Look. Bye bye. This is a dose of colors. I feel like I got this in a beauty box. It's green. It still works. I think it's been like a year. Let's get rid of her. Makeup Geek's full spectrum in espresso. Guys, they, they, Makeup Geek is no longer a thing. I've had this maybe four years and I haven't wanted to get rid of her because look how creamy she is. Honestly, guys, I think I'm going to keep her. For nostalgic purposes, I'm going to keep this one. I have more colors. Oh my God. So that UZ liner, I have it in blue and I have it in purple. I'm going to get rid of these because I haven't like actually visited them. They're pigmented. Oh, this one's right out. Yeah, they're pigmented, but like I haven't actually used them. So I have the tint in pinot noir and then forest i think maybe i've had them for about a year i might keep these because you never know when you're gonna need these colors look they're still creamy okay we're keeping those two Oh my gosh, I got an Iman Perfect Eye Pencil. I know I'm going to get rid of this. I don't need another brown. And then the packaging kills me. It's like the 99 cents little caps with the um, sharpener in it. I bet if a cosmetics does send me PR all the time and this brown is delicious. Look how creamy she is. I'm going to keep her. I've only had this maybe like six months because I requested backups of stuff. So I'm going to keep this one. So far, I've got all of these we're getting rid of. That's not bad. And I'm only keeping five. Well, from this drawer. I'm going to go into the other one. Don't get scared. This is a drawer that mainly has or mainly should have all sorts of blacks. So let's see. I've got BFC. This is not old at all. We're keeping her. It's a black. No, this is the navy. And look how dark that is. We're keeping her. I got BFC in their like coppery gold. Again, we got this like two months ago. I am keeping her. Illuminati. If this one is in that drawer, then that means that the pink one is there too. I'm going to get rid of her. I feel like a lot of like beauty boxes have featured Illuminati illuminati in these specific shades in their beauty boxes i think i think it's time i let them go because i haven't like really revisited them but i am gonna keep the tattoo pencil they're green by kvd 
because Miha, she is pigmented. It's a really deep forest. And I haven't had this, not even like six months, I don't think. Esquito liner. I'm going to get rid of this one because I've had her forever. I remember trying her for the... Oh, yeah, she goes in the garbage, Miha. She's not even like going on that well. But I remember getting her and falling in love with it because it was one of those liners that were like 100% like glide gel, like beautiful on the eyes. Here we have the Smoke Show Kajal by Too Faced. I'm going to keep this one i feel like yeah i'm gonna keep this one i've had it for less than a year i think a year maybe a year but she's still creamy and it stays put which i love and it's great for smudging nova beauty's eyeliner in black y'all need to like get this it is called asap look at that beautiful she smudges very very well she's really creamy and she stays put i think these are the pencils that are left in the drawer and then we just have like felt tips and paint tips so let's see i have a charlotte tilbury i'm not getting rid of her i don't care she's brown but look how amazing she's like a deep coco she's not going anywhere i'm almost done with her anyway so i'm keeping her we just got this one i don't even have to swatch her you guys know there's a highlight on one side like a shimmer stick and then on the other side is a liner we're keeping her because i got this like a month ago mirabella this is great i guess for smudging so i feel like i want to keep her but at the same time i have the laura geller one and it's so waterproof it's bulletproof at this point and you can smudge with it but you can also apply it on your waterline so i feel like we're gonna keep laura geller and i'm gonna get rid of mirabella and i'm compromising here because i want to keep everything i need you guys to hold me accountable we're gonna do lip liners next in another video so be ready for that i'm freaking out here's the illuminati i'm not even gonna swatch her you guys already know what she looks like she's basura entonces i have the milk makeup but i have it in is this black too <gasps> i had two of the milk makeups in black i'm comfort i'm getting rid of the one that's expired and i'm gonna keep the one that is still very very creamy because it's so good rodeo smoky eye pen rodeo has really great product do i keep her do i get rid of her what do i do oh my god i feel like i'm between a rock and a hard place because either keep rodeo or get or or keep pixie i have to get rid of one i'm not gonna keep just Mm -mm. i'm gonna get rid of rodeo because pixie is creamier this is so hard why do i have a sample sized freaking cake pencil by kvd i don't know but basura the double takeaway is actually really good you have a nude on one side and then you have mini 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 felt tip on the other i'm gonna keep her i wait wait let's oh yeah she still works okay we're gonna keep her color pops pencil in like this metallic gold i'm gonna keep her i've been playing around with a lot of colors so i could totally use that you guys are like is she getting rid of anything i am look the crown gone platinum here we have it it is creamy but at the same time i feel like i'm not really gonna visit this shade here's another black one by trustee it is so creamy i feel horrible getting rid of product i'm telling you i'm gonna get rid of her that's it i know it's not just me i just feel odd i have the hourglass in black look how creamy i'm gonna keep her okay you guys are gonna be really proud because i'm gonna let it go this ardencian monster is phenomenal and it's still creamy and i'm almost done with her but i feel like i've had her for far too long i'm embarrassed to say how long i've had it for so i'm gonna get rid of that one i have these two which are good too and i haven't had them for long so the persona look how creamy she is and she's black but then i have the around the clock 8 p.m and this one is actually like a deep cocoa so i want to keep them both okay me how you can't be mad so far so good it's looking good look at all of this that's garbage these are the only well liners that i have and a well liner is the type of liner that has a compartment at the bottom that's actually holding on to all of the product i can honestly tell you this mark jacobs liner was really cool and i think it was amazing to receive in a beauty box but the applicator is not my favorite like if you're gonna swipe it on the skin it is flexible but when you're gonna go along your eyes i feel like it's not flexible enough for the eyes and you would really have to press it in so she's masura i feel like i've only used her a few times and then i kind of got over her you know then we have the these two which have been discontinued and i will explain because you guys are going to say oh you're nasty nyc used to have their liquid liner which was phenomenal years ago and they discontinued it years ago before they officially like took it off the market i purchased a ton of them i never wanted to get rid of it because it was one of like my favorite little applicator ones it was just the maddest of maddest completely black it was like a leather black it was just beautiful easy to apply this this is the product that i used to learn how to wing my 
liner and it just it was amazing but it's time to let it go i heard nyx came out with theirs again and the formula is way better i should snag that one and we'll see. let me know if you want me to review like the nyx one and then we have this it's the fall in line duo by p louise i tried it i was slightly disappointed i told you guys how i was like nice i was slightly disappointed the applicator is just like the marks jacobs one so i don't love the applicator but when it dries down it's not fully opaque like i found that i had to build it and build it and build it and build it in order to kind of get the brown to show which was kind of annoying so i'm gonna get rid of it and this is new i got it maybe like two months ago i'm i'm over it two potted gel liners i have another one it's by illa mask i'm gonna keep it because it's new and it's amazing this is the inglot 77 i've had her forever she hasn't gone bad you see what i'm saying like i know it looks crunchy and weird and you'd probably be like botalo like it's time to go like chuck it but technically with the inglot duraline you're able to revive it it's fine i've had this for years so i'll get rid of it because i have the abh one that's still practically new i got this a while ago but i didn't open it until most recently and then i've been uh, using this behind the scenes to apply on my waterline and the tight line and all that good stuff but also to wing out with a brush i've been uh, going between this one and the illamasqua one so i'm gonna keep this one you guys i lied i found one more this one's by beauty creations she was chunky and crunchy i decided to keep her because i figured maybe one day i'd use her again but once i applied it it made the wing look like crunchy or not even like alligator skin in a sense so that's basura the aia beauty bundle one it was nice but I don't need her. It's a felt tip. We're going to get rid of her. I'm going to start doing swatches on the other side because, girl. This one is by She Glam. You get a pencil on one side and a, like, a felt tip on the other. It's cute. But the thing is, was the formula like, oh my god, blowing my mind out of the water? No. And the gel's not even all that creamy anymore. I've had it for a while, though. Maybe about a year. So I'm going to get rid of her. The Beauty Vault one. I feel like I like to this. Yeah, because the applicator is felt tip, but it's still flexible. It's a maybe. Hold on. I'm going to set it to the side. It's a maybe. I have the Lottie Wing Woman one. This is a more recent one that I received. Oh, God. This is a maybe, too. Let's wait and see how they dry. This is the Kaja one. I feel like I can get rid of this one. I know. They all kind of look the same, but it really depends on how they dry down. This is definitely going basura, but this is the Blackity Black by uh, Hank and Henry. It is a paint tip. Pero look, she's not even all that opaque. You see what I'm saying? The difference? She's lighter for sure. Color pop in green. This is weird because it looks blue towards the top and green at the bottom. I feel like I'm going to keep her though. Aye, aye, aye. Wander Beauty. Mm, I feel bad because I really like Wander Beauty, but we're going to get rid of her. Dragon Beauty. Okay, so this one is a brush tip, but once again, she's not super opaque. Oh my God, everything is drying down with a sheen. You see that? Dragon Beauty is out. Lauren Conrad. Also brush tip. Okay, we're keeping Lauren. I've made up my mind. The Lottie London and Beauty Vault are gone. Josephine, I'm pretty sure she's gone too. Hold on. Oh, that was like straight up in your face from the beginning. But I'm going to get rid of her because I know for a fact that I have more that I really, really like out of like these liners. My beauty brand by me. Yeah, that's trash. And when I say that's trash, it doesn't mean that they're bad formulas or that they don't work. It's just I know I'm not going to go revisit it. So why even bother keeping them? Oh, yeah. Look, the ill maquillage in your face. We're keeping it on maquillage for sure. Hip dot. This one is a dual ended. You get a liner, which I really liked. So I know for a fact I want to keep her. And then you have the felt tip. Oh no. Oh my God. She's not as dark as Il Maquillages. So never mind. Maybe, maybe, see, see why this is so hard? The coal liner is not as dark as others. Like in person, at least, it's not as dark. So she's going to go. Look how dark. Ico is that is Ico right there. We're gonna keep Ico because this one, although it is a felt tip, look how thick she is. And sometimes you need a thick one, you know. Ofra, I love me some Ofra. Opaque brush tip never dries down. We're keeping her. <laughs> My Charlotte. Okay, we're keeping Charlotte. Charlotte literally just yelled at me and said, "Girl, we're staying." Look how thick and opaque that is. Oh no, I'm not even going to try this. So this is one of the little heart... Yeah, I am going to try it for you guys. It's one of the little heart stamp things. Instead of just showing you the heart and just being like, hey, it's a heart. It's stamping around the heart and it's making a circle, which is stupid. And if you're wondering, this is the AOA. It's by like Shop Miss A. It's Basura. The black roller liner. Okay, now these liners know that they need to show off or show out. It's like swatch or trash, no matter what. So they know better. We're going to check uh, the one size. Let's see if she's still good. Oh, yeah. One size is showing out. I've had it for about 
maybe a little less than a year. So we're gonna keep her. Smashbox. Okay, Mija. I think I think she's gonna go. Let's see. Wow, that's a good swatch. It showed off. Okay, we're uh, okay. So here's the dealio. I'm looking at all of these and they're kind of starting to look the same. However, I know I'm not going to revisit this one. Basura. Okay. I'm trying to get better at this. I chose Coco Edit. I know I'm going to keep her because it is a uh, pen tip and it is brown. And it's a very pretty brown at that. Look, it's like a cafe con leche, like, you know, a little espresso. That is a 100% tree brown. It looks beautiful. I'm keeping her. Okay. <laughs> I found another Ico. So the Ico that I said I was keeping is the skin which is not as skinny you see how chunky she is i want to keep her because i need a chunky one in my life but then i have the black magic and it has a wide lash it is a brush tip and what it does is it enhances your lashes by adding a serum to it and she's thick. we're keeping Ico. wing me this is like recent too i think we got this maybe like a month ago Oh no, she's got to go look. The swatch started off strong and then not so much. So she's going to go. We are almost done here. We have the Farah 18 hour liquid liner. Let's swatch her here. She's cute, but she's not doing anything super special. Like I have other ones that are going to do the same thing. So I think we're going to get rid of her. I have the Black Magic Coco Edit again, but this one's a mini. I'm going to keep this mainly because i'm gonna take this to miami and leave it in my makeup bag over there and then last but not least we have the tardis i'm gonna get rid of her we have the pencil on one side oh no it broke the tip broke the tip broke the tip broke Ugh. oh god by the way i'm a righty so this is just hard for me all right the pencil's dry and then the little brush side it's not a brush it's a felt tip she's still holding out strong but i'm not gonna keep a dual ended product if not both sides work when at this point i just have so much eyeliners already it doesn't make any sense i'm excited i think we did really well i mean considering that i had probably like a drawer filled to the top and a half we were able to consolidate to one i have all my colors i have my gel i have pencils i have my felt tips and my brush tips i think we did well honestly i'm gonna say i'm really proud of myself all of these are going in the trash and some of them i've been holding on to for quite some time because they just bring back memories of when i got them or when i purchased them and stuff like that but it's time to let go you know this was not as bad as i thought it was going to be so now i'm looking forward or maybe i'm not i don't know let's see how it goes but i will be filming my lip liners for the next declutter so make sure you are subscribed make sure you hit the notification bell and if you don't mind please hit the like button it really really helps me out i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video and all the swatches and how like my brain was tumbling back and forth on what i wanted to do with these products and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys